to Tulsa and I thought I would go through the Panera drive through and get my coffee in here. Good morning. I would like a cold brew and can you just put stevia and half and half? Yes, please. Got it. Mm. That'll do the trick. Okay, headed to Tulsa. Chobani yogurt, the zero sugar like we're used to getting from Sam. So that was good. Um, I'm going to try their Kirkland brand grass-fed butter. Um, it was a good price and I've never tried it before. It, all they had was the salted, but that's fine by me. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to try their shrimp. It's the Kirkland brand and it's the wild argentine red shrimp tail off raw so we'll give those a try they had of course they had really good strawberries these i don't know if i've seen these at sam's but this is the andouille sausage and this is paleo no antibiotics and it says uh they are andouille chicken sausages. It's uh, 13 grams of protein, 110 calories per sausage. So looking forward to trying that. This one is the Polish sausage and it's 100% grass fed beef. So looking forward to trying that. It's, they're 200 calories per link but less than one gram of carbs. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. They had paleo organic basil and cracked black pepper. And these are smoked chicken sausage, 16 grams of protein, one gram of total carbs, zero sugars, calories, 160 calories per link. So that looks really good. And this looks good. You know, I like the cilantro lime dressing from Target. So this is um, cilantro lime crema. You can use it for tacos, for salads, protein bowls, nachos, burritos, wraps, put it on grilled corn, all kinds of good stuff. 40 calories for two tablespoons, total carbs, two grams and you get a two pack from Costco. So that looks really good. And of course, uh, they had the same price on their um, rotisserie chicken, $4.99, so that was good. Got some bananas. They had their apples in like containers like this instead of bags. And we got the, um, they are organic, and these are the Honeycrisp. So we got Honeycrisp apples. I got a whole bag of lemons, because I've been having a lot of lemon water lately with my Jordan Skinny Syrup. So I went ahead and got a whole bag. I think that's all the cold stuff. Um, we're about to go to Florida in a few weeks, so I got some Copper Tone. This is the 30 SPF. I got the Kirkland chicken bone broth, 
So I know Sam's has their version also, but we'll give it a try and see what theirs is like. I got the Kirkland dry roasted macadamia nuts with sea salt. So we'll give those a try. They had my husband's archer beef sticks, so he'll be happy about that. This is a new protein bar. They did not have his built bars that he loves, so I was a little disappointed in that. But they had simply protein, 50, 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, 150 calories. They come in three different flavors peanut butter chocolate, lemon coconut, and dark chocolate sea salt. So hopefully he will like those. Then they did have his Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Bars, so he'll be happy about that. I did get some more Rotel, because we use Rotel a lot. And then of course I got um, Kirkland's Bath Tissue. So we'll see if we like that as much as we do Sam's. And then we just got their Kleenexes. And one more thing, the Kirkland brand of kitchen trash bags. And that's it. That's our Costco's, Costco haul. Um, I'm up in the air whether I like Sam's better or Costco better. They were out of the paper towels, so I I couldn't get those to try. Um, overall, I really liked the store. Of course, ours isn't open yet in Owasso, so I'm waiting to see when that's gonna open. But I'm so thankful for my sister letting me tag along with her today. We had a good time. And we actually ran into our, my nieces and my great niece and great nephew while we were there. So that was fun, we got to catch up. But I will put all this away and see you later for dinner. Hey guys, this is actually a couple of days later. We ended up just eating the rotisserie chicken for dinner that night. I was just exhausted and tired and didn't wanna film what I eat for dinner, to be honest. But tonight, I am gonna make a sheet pan jambalaya. I found this on a YouTube channel, Louise Lane. She and her fiance, who is from Louisiana, they love making Cajun food, Creole food. They love buying this Tony's, um, Tony's Creole seasoning. So I went ahead and bought some because if he's from Louisiana, I was hoping that this would be really good. So we're gonna try that for the first time. But it's andouille sausage, and this is the one I got from Costco, so looking forward to trying it. And the shrimp that I got from Costco. I already took some out and thawed it out, so it'll be ready to go. But we're gonna use, those are the meats we're gonna use. In the video with Louise Lane's video, her actual name is Lauren, and I did, a. Uh, comment on her video and I said why is your channel called Louise Lane but your name's Lauren well she said her middle name is Louise so she went by Louise Lane for her channel which is cute but Lauren and her boyfriend Morgan uh, made this recipe on her channel and it looked so delicious and so easy being a sheet pan meal they used chicken and, and andouille sausage. I'm gonna use andouille sausage and shrimp, but some recipes use all three, chicken, shrimp, and sausage. So you just choose what protein you want, but we're gonna do the shrimp and the sausage, and you don't have to do andouille, you can do kielbasa, whatever, um, you know, sausage you love. And then we're gonna do the bell peppers, of course, in the video, she said, use whatever vegetable you like, but that's what I'm gonna do, bell peppers. And then we're gonna use easy Uncle Ben's rice. This is the jasmine rice. This is just the microwavable rice, but you do you, right? I'm just gonna do the easy way. And then one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. That's it. And we'll just need some olive oil or some avocado oil to um, drizzle over the vegetables and the meat. 
and you could even use the olive oil spray if you would prefer but i'm just going to use the oil and let's get started chopping up the vegetables get right into it Okay, so now I have the veggies and the sausage cut up. We're not gonna put the shrimp on the pan yet because it doesn't take as much time to cook in the oven. I'm preheating the oven to 400. And we're just gonna put some olive oil or avocado oil and then sprinkle it with this Tony's Creole seasoning, however much to your liking. Okay, and then I'm gonna just toss it around a little bit. Then we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna get the rice mixture and the shrimp ready to go on the sheet pan. It's all going on the sheet pan. So let's get this in the oven. All right, 10 to 15 minutes at 400. All right, so I cooked the rice, just packaged directions in the microwave. And we're gonna put it in a bowl and mix with the crushed tomatoes, just one 15 ounce can. Stir that up. And then we're gonna put the shrimp on the sheet pan, season it with the Creole seasoning, and then pour this rice mixture over everything. Okay, I'll take you over there. Okay, so now I've got the shrimp. I did toss this around. Uh, just to get it evenly cooked. Now I'm going to put the seasoning on the shrimp. And then we're going to actually just pour the rice mixture on top of everything. On top of the vegetables, on top of the sausage, and on top of the shrimp. And then spread it around so it'll have an even surface. And she said, you know, the rice will get a little crispy on top. She said it just tastes amazing. But you just didn't want to put the shrimp on at the same time as the sausage because it just doesn't want to get overcooked. All right, let's put this back in the oven. She said you literally do not need more seasoning on the rice because the Tony's is gonna season it up enough as it is. Put this back in the oven for another five to seven minutes. Okay, I actually got nervous and took it out and kind of stirred up the shrimp with the rice because I just wanted to make sure the shrimp was gonna get cooked all the way. I don't know if I had to do that or not. But now I'm going to go ahead and stir everything together. It smells really good, I must say. Stir the veggies in. And you guys, except for the bowl that we had to stir the rice in, this is just one sheet pan dinner. Makes it so easy, easy cleanup. We used foil on the sheet pan. So 
So let's plate this up and give it a test. I uh, am really looking forward to the Tony seasoning to see how I like it. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. And I'm looking forward to trying this sausage, this andouille sausage. It's not a traditional andouille sausage. It is um, chicken, chicken andouille sausage. So it's a little healthier. So I just, it's up to you what sausage you use, you know. I'm just on my health journey, you guys know. Okay, let me plate it up. All right, moment of truth. I'm really curious about the shrimp from Costco. The seasoning is on point, that Creole seasoning, Tony's. That shrimp is good, it's cooked through. Let me try the sausage. This is my kind of meal. I love it all in one bowl. The seasoning is perfect. She was right, you don't need more seasoning for the rice because you put enough on it. She said about two teaspoons that you sprinkle all over the whole sheet pan. The rice is really good. I'm not going to mind the calories in the rice because you just have to have that in a jambalaya. I cut the calories where I could and it's just so delicious. You guys have to give this a try. Super easy, delicious. The Costco shrimp was great. The Costco um, andouille is great. So I recommend that if you have a Costco in your area. Please. Please make this. You won't regret it. As always, please have a blessed week. Love you to the beach and back.